this is a ground skink. This is a ground skink in the wild. He has everything he needs in his patch. Look at all the habitat, food and resources around him. But how does the matrix around this patch affect his way of life? This grand skink wants to migrate to another patch, but the matrix is too big and bare. The spatial scale of the matrix means he doesn't make it. This restricts the immigration of skink populations. This time the matrix is more similar to the patch the skink lives in, and therefore the matrix actually increases the skink's ability to migrate and allows skink to colonise new patches. The skink cannot survive for long in this matrix because it does not provide him with food and other resources. His patch provides him with all the resources he needs. The population in his patch is large enough to provide mates for the skink, whereas in the matrix he would not find any. This ensures the population can continue to grow and the genetic diversity in the patch remains high. What a smug skink. Clearing of land in the matrix has changed the microclimate of the patch and has made it too hot for the skinks at the edge. This increases their risk of extinction. Although the skinks may not survive the matrix, other species can. This has led to invasive species migrating into the patch and threatens the skink populations. These invasive species increase competition and can colonise the patch themselves. The conditions in the patch are perfectly suited for the skink. But it cannot survive the climate in the matrix. Adaptation may allow the skink to travel through the matrix in the future, but this will not occur fast enough. Additionally, the matrix may lead to the separation of two populations and reduce the genetic diversity of both.